Hi, welcome to this new tutorial where I will be showing you how to create a skirt in Marvelous Designer 5. So if you'd like to learn how to do that, then stick around and I will show you. Okay, so in Marvelous Designer, I'll be showing you how to create a nice quick skirt for your female avatar. And it's actually a lot simpler than you think. We'll be using two garments and that is all to create it. Okay, so the first things first, I'm going to click the create quad polygon. And what we're going to do first is create a little waistband. So we're just going to create a nice small one that goes slightly off the body as it needs to wrap around itself. And then to attach this greatly to the body, because we need to stitch this end to this end, we need to actually have it so the waistband already is folded around the body because if we tried to sew it at this point in time it would fold onto each other and just fall to the ground and that's not what we want. So to do this go to this avatar icon here and click this show arrangements points. Okay and you'll see a load of blue darts just appear on the avatar. Now with this waistband selected left click this one here that's sort of just in front of the belly button and there we have it it is now wrapped around the body so as you can see we need to make that a little bit longer so I'm just gonna grab one of the sides and stretch it out a bit I can move this across in the 2d reselect the arrangement point to wrap it around the waist and then we will stitch the ends together. So when we simulate, it's wrapped around the body. Now obviously that's a bit high, but for now, it'll do, because we just needed the waistband. Next, we're using the quad uh, topology creation again, and what we need to do is create a long skirt that will fit onto this waistband. So to do that, what I do is drag a large quad and I'm just going to go to the center line here and we'll mirror it. Now on the bottom, we want to right click here, click split, uniform split, and then put in the number of around 10. And then we're going to use this internal line. So what we're doing here is creating vertex points we can snap onto with our line creation tool. And we're just going to be creating the parts in the skirt that fold to have the outward creases. So I'm going to left click on a point, hold shift to move it up. It will snap onto this top line here and I'm going to left click twice. And I'm just going to repeat this for the rest. Okay. Now the reason we didn't just split this and then use the internal line to join them two together is because if we did that we'd have to then split the waistband so we could sew it up. Whilst with this route we don't have to do that. We're going to right click here and click unfold and attach it to the belly button point. And then if we just get rid of the top point here and then create another internal line we can now sew the top of this up to the bottom of the waistband and we'll simulate. And now we just need to pull it down a bit as the waistband did fly up in the first instance. And now we can have a look. We got a bit of extra material. It might do with some more. Just looking at the creases. However, it should actually be fine. However, I do think it's a little short, so I'm just going to drag it down just a tad more, simulate again, and there we go. I think that's a lot better there. Now, select all these internal lines we created, and now we're going to mess with the fold settings to create those outward facing folds. So first off, we're going to mess with the angle and see what we get. Okay, so to get these sharp creased folds, we want to fold the angle on zero. And then we can increase the fold strength or decrease. 
Now, you might not want a skirt that's completely folded like that, so you might want to just lay off the strength a little, and maybe even just increase the angle slightly until you get that. Okay, now the last thing we need to do is stitch the skirt up together. And there we have a nice creased skirt in Marvelous Designer, and that was very quick and very easy to do. If you wanted to do uh, your fabrics, then you could create a new fabric, and we'll go for the usual sort of cotton, and we'll make our skirt be cotton, and then in the top one, collar with interlining, and it'll just give it that bit more stiffness in the interlining, and then obviously the cottony feel over here. Okay, so the sharper the folds you want, just have it at zero. Otherwise, if you want inward folds to create this sort of skirt, then you go to 360. So it's just bending the fabric in the way you desire. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did, a dislike if you didn't. If you have any opinions, comments, questions, suggestions, or advice, just leave it down below in the comments section. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. You can always hit me up on Twitter, which is at Sam underscore BA underscore Jones 97. And as always, if you want to see more, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks, guys. Bye.